So on March the 10th, 2021, I was walking down Ottawa Street under a big palm tree sign for the seventh time, praying. What was I praying? Why was I walking under that palm tree for the seventh time in front of a pink dilapidated building? It is my pleasure this morning to share with you the palm tree prayers story. My wife and I arrived in Hamilton back in 2015. We, after many years as YWAM missionaries in Quebec, and God led us to be part of the Crown Point Community Church on Ottawa Street. When God led us to that church, um, they had just finished a visioning process. And a lot of prayer had gone into that process. There had been a number of prayer meetings, and then they'd written down their vision for the next 10 years. And as part of that process, uh, someone had seen a picture of a palm tree. And no one quite understood why God would give a picture of a palm tree, but they noted it in the document. And uh, they said, well, we'll see where it fits in. Someone did note that down the street on Ottawa Street, uh, there was this pink dilapidated building with a big palm tree sign in front of it. Year five of the visioning plan called for the Crown Point Community Church to open a thrift store. A thrift store where none of the proceeds would go to the church, but they would go for the good of the city, of the lower city in Hamilton. Actually, in year four, donations started arriving at the church, and so we moved up the schedule, started looking for commercial space um, to rent for the thrift store. Some people from the church actually visited the, the, the pink dilapidated building with the palm tree sign in front. And they went through it, and the building was really dilapidated. Uh, the estimate was that it would cost $100,000 to bring it up to a point where it could be used as a thrift store, and that cost would be paid by the renter, not the owner. So the church said, thank you very much, we'll keep on looking. And they did keep on looking, and uh, God led them to uh, a wonderful commercial space on Barton Street, not Ottawa, but it's uh, right across from the Shoppers Drug Mart at Central Mall. And in November of 2018, there was great excitement and joy in the church as we opened up the Giving Closet Thrift Shop. I rationalized the palm tree because I said, well, if you go from the church on Ottawa Street and you walk down Ottawa Street to the Giving Closet Thrift Shop, you walk under the palm tree sign. But God had more dramatic reasons as to why he had mentioned the palm tree in the visioning process. In the second half of the vision uh, document, they talked uh, about getting involved with affordable, affordable housing in Hamilton in some way. And again, it wasn't fleshed out, but the thinking was, well, maybe the church would rent a building and, and uh, subsidize a couple of apartments that could be affordable for, for families in need. But in uh, January of 2021, uh, Pastor Jason announced, and uh, we have co-pastors at our church, uh, Jason and Leanna Brown. Uh, full disclosure, Leanna Brown is, is, my, is my daughter. But it was Pastor Jason that announced in January of 2021, he said, well, it looks like we don't have to rent anything or find anything for affordable housing because we've become aware that uh, a lot of affordable housing is becoming available on Ottawa Street. He said two blocks uh, south of the church on Ottawa Street, the YWCA is just finishing a three-year construction project and opening up units for single moms with kids of affordable housing. And he said, we just heard, you know, that pink dilapidated building down the street, two blocks north? Well, it's just been bought by Indwell and they're gonna turn it into affordable housing for indigenous people. So we were really excited about that. And we rejoiced again. And then in February, end of February last year, uh, we had True City. And for the first time, because of COVID, we couldn't be live, we couldn't be together to celebrate 
what God's doing through the church in, in Hamilton. And so we had to go online. The first uh, weekend was online, and then the two weeks of prayer were also online, mainly praying the hours. But people were also encouraged to do prayer walks in their neighborhood. And so in that context, I felt the Spirit leading me to come to my church and leave from the parking lot and do a prayer walk on Ottawa Street. And I, I did that, and I walked around both of the affordable housing developments. And uh, when I walked around the, uh, the pink dilapidated building, I was rejoicing. I said, thank you, God, that Inville can buy this building and they're going to turn it into affordable housing for Indigenous people. And then I had the thought also, said, well, maybe I should contact Inville and see if there's any specific prayer requests related to the building at this time. So I sent an email to uh, Jeff Nevin at Indwell, and he answered very quickly. And he said, he said, thank you for praying. But he said, unfortunately, we're, Indwell is not gonna be able to, to buy the building. He said, it was so close. He said, we were in the lawyer's office. We were ready to sign the papers. And by some information and questions that were shared at that time, it became clear that the person who was there to sign the papers to sell the building was not the rightful owner of the building. And so we can't, we can't buy it. We're doing this initiative under a rapid housing initiative from the federal government, and we need to have a building quickly. That was, that was bad. I was, I was discouraged. Oh, it didn't work out. And then as I, as I went home, I felt the spirit quicken me again. When I say God speaks to me, it's not that I ever hear a quite audible voice of God. I just have certain thoughts that I think are coming from God. And I had had this one that I felt was God saying, well, Doug, go back and walk and pray seven times around that um, pink dilapidated building with the palm tree sign. And so I'm a spiritual director at GoHop. I shared that at our next staff meeting. And uh, Andy and Abraham from Prohop, they said, well, we think that God wants us to go with you. And so it was the three of us on Wednesday, March the 10th, that were walking seven times around the building on Ottawa Street. And for me, the first time around was, was very difficult because I, was, I had these thoughts in my head and they weren't from God. But the thoughts were, were things like, oh, this is weird. This is dumb. This isn't going to change anything. Doug, you're just trying to draw attention to yourself. But my friends, Andy and Abraham, were there, and they were praying prayers of faith. They were saying, God, do something so that Indwell can buy this building. God, this is just like the, in, the, the prayer walks that we had on Barton Street that led to the opening of the 541 eatery. God, may this be part of the history of what you've done in Hamilton. As we finished the first time around, we went by a dumpster behind one of the buildings, and on that dumpster, someone had scrawled, I dreamed it was all a dream. And I don't know what the person meant that wrote it on there or originally wrote that, but God took that phrase to speak to my unbelieving heart. And basically he said to me, Doug, you've been a Christian. You've been following me as well as you could for 50 years. And you've seen me answer prayer. You've seen healing, some of them physical, a lot of them emotional. You've seen me intervene so that the giving closet thrift store is where it is and not where the church thought it should be. And that's really real. These are real things that have happened and similar things can happen again. And so I also was able to join in and pray prayers of faith. After we finished, I sent another email to Jeff Nevin at Indwell, and I told him what we did. And he answered again very promptly. He said, thank you for praying. He said, nothing, nothing has changed. If it does, I'll let you know. One day later, I got an email from Jeff. And he said, it started off, new news. 
I don't know why I'm surprised. I shouldn't be. And he went on to say that that day they'd been contacted by the finance company who is now the rightful owner of the building and they said, hey Indwell, are you still interested in maybe buying the building? And he said in the last week the federal government contacted us again and offered a little bit more money to help us to do a rapid housing initiative. And so he said it looks like it's gone from not going to happen to probably going to happen. Six weeks later, Indwell was the rightful owner of that pink dilapidated building with the pine tree, with the palm tree sign over. And it was just great rejoicing to see what God had done. The same lawyer that had been there at the signing that didn't happen, he advised his colleagues, said, if you don't believe in the power of prayer, this story may change your thing. The building is no longer pink. It's been cleaned up. It's in the process of being renovated to provide affordable housing for indigenous people in Hamilton. Indwell very graciously, they took down the palm tree sign and they donated it to Crown Point Community Church. And we are honored to have this symbol of answered prayer in our church. To God be the glory.